Today here at the Oklahoma City Zoo, we had a really exciting procedure. We did an abdominal ultrasound on our female elephant, Asha. She is actually expecting a baby, and we are expecting that baby to come around mid to late October. And so what we do is we come down on a regular basis, and we just do that ultrasound to make sure that everything is progressing normally. We do the exact same thing that you would expect to see if you got an ultrasound of yourself or your dog or your cat. Um, it's the same equipment and it's just a lot bigger animal. So we do have to use a lot of gel. She has extremely thick skin with a lot of ridges and crevices in there. And so that can sometimes make it difficult to see with ultrasound. And so we do use a, quite a thick layer of gel. Normally when you go and you see an ultrasound, there's a little tiny squirt bottle and you get just a little squirt. We do big globs of it with a giant tub and we smear it all on, on her side. So she doesn't seem to mind. At this stage, you know, elephants have a 22 month gestation, which is very long. So she's been pregnant for quite a while now. And the baby is actually quite big. So we would estimate that the, the baby right now is probably about 200 pounds, which is quite large. So we really are only able to see small parts of the baby at any point in time, um, just because it is so big. So today I actually got to see the baby's entire liver, which looks really good. But in that process, I saw lots and lots of movement as the baby is moving around in there. So we know it's really active and doing really well. The elephants here have a really great relationship with their caretakers. They're extremely intelligent animals, and so they are able to learn quite a lot of different behaviors. So their caretakers go through a process where they train each of the elephants to do a variety of different behaviors that help them participate willingly in their own medical care. Obviously this is an 8,000 pound animal. If she doesn't want to do something, we can't make her do it. And so we have to have that good relationship and training for her to participate in her care. And so she knows that if she does the ultrasound, she knows we're not going to hurt her. And she knows she's going to get some of her favorite treats for doing that behavior. You know, we want to do it frequently because again, we just want to make sure that everything is progressing normally. We also do weekly blood sampling. So she gives us a blood sample willingly from the back of her ear and we send that in for progesterone testing. So we want to make sure that her hormone levels are staying at a good level to maintain that pregnancy. Um, elephants, as um, hopefully you know, everybody knows, are critically endangered in the wild. And they, every single elephant is so important to the population. And because they have such a long gestation and they don't breed very often, every baby is super important. And so we do everything that we possibly can to make sure that mom and baby stay healthy. Her pregnancy has gone perfectly. We couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, everything has gone great, as did with her, her previous two. She's never really had any complications, and so we didn't expect to see anything unusual this go around, and everything's gone fantastic.